11th question what are all the pairs of positive integers what are all the pairs of positive integers when i say positive integers it is called natural number set how many pairs of natural number sets are there such that x square minus y square equivalent to 63 x square minus y square equivalent to 63 method one one is the traditional method another is to get the answer very fast x and y are natural numbers this is the first step x and y are positive integers positive integers means x and y are positive integers means natural numbers if i add two natural numbers that will always be greater than their difference sum of two natural numbers will always be greater than their difference sum of two natural numbers will always be greater than difference very very important this will help us to reduce the number of steps x square minus y square is x plus y into x minus y equivalent to 63 x plus y into x minus y now listen carefully 63 in how many ways you can write 63 into 1 1 into 63 1 into 63 i will not write it why because sum of two natural numbers is always greater than their difference reverse case i will not write 9 into 7 7 into 9 i will not write i will not write 21 into 3 factors of 63 are 1 3 7 and 9 21 63 reverse 3 into 21 i will not write i will not write why because sum of two natural numbers is always greater than their difference 21 into 3 21 into 3 i hope it is clear totally 63 it is 9 into 7 9 it is 3 square into 7 power 1 so total factors will be 3 power 0 3 power 1 3 power 2 7 power 0 7 power 1 3 twos are 6 factors 1 2 3 4 5 6 how many what are all the pairs this is one pair the second pair this is a third pair this is third pair so answer for this question is how many pairs of positive integers x comma y will take how many pairs of positive integers x comma y will take how many cases we got three cases we got these three cases are eliminated why because sum of two natural numbers is always greater than their difference sum of two natural numbers is always greater than their difference this is method one Method 2. 63 it is 3 square into 7 power 1. So total number of factors. Total number of factors. 3 twos are it is 6 cases. 6 cases. 3 cases will have x plus y greater than x minus y. 3 cases will have x plus y less than x minus y. Sum of two natural numbers can never be less than their difference. Sum of two natural numbers can never be less than their difference. So answer for this question is 3. You don't need to do enumerate all the cases. He is asking how for every value of x there will be a corresponding y value. So how many triple we got 3 three pairs we got three pairs we got next slide is very very important listen carefully x square minus y square equivalent to 105 x and y are natural numbers x and y are natural numbers another question x square minus y square equivalent to 105 x and y are integers x and y are integers x and y are integers what is the difference between these two let us see x square minus y square equivalent to 105 x and y are natural numbers natural numbers means positive integers means positive zero and negative positive zero and negative so this will become x plus y 
into x minus y 105 it is a composite number if it is a composite number write down as a power of prime basis 15 into 7 is 105 15 into 7 is 105 so totally how many factors are there 0 to 1 2 cases 0 to 1 2 cases 0 to 1 2 cases totally 8 ways are there in that 8 ways 4 ways will have x plus y greater than x minus y. 4 ways will have x plus y less than x minus y. Sum of two natural numbers less than their difference. Can the sum of two be less than their difference? No. Answer for this question is 4. Answer for this question is 4. Idea clear? In a natural number set, sum of two natural numbers is always greater than their difference. Sum of two natural numbers, anyway, two natural numbers are countable numbers. If you add two positive numbers, how can it be less than their difference? 4 and 2, sum is 6. It is always greater than 4 minus 2. If it is integers, integers means they both can be negative, they both can, one can neg be negative, another can be positive. So, sum of two natural number positive. Suppose if I take 3 and minus 2, 3 minus 2, 1, 1 is 3 minus of minus 2, 1 is less than 5. So, in integer that condition is not satisfied. So, it is 3 into 5 into 7. 2 into 2 into 2, 8. 8 cases, because it is integers, it is not mandatory that x plus y should be greater than x minus y. So, that 4 cases, we will not eliminate it if x and y are integers. x and y are integers means it can be positive, it can be negative, it can be 0. It can be 0. Why cannot be 0? Why? Because 105. 105, it is a digital sum, it is 6. 105 digital sum it is 6. The digital sum of a perfect square is always 1, 4, 7 or 9.